You know, it doesn't seem all that hard to make. So what are you saying? Hey, they say everything is better at home. So why don't we try Taco Bell at home? Let's see if we can make it better. Okay, so what we got here is the Beef Crunch Wrap Supreme. And if we actually open it up and look inside, like, there is little to no meat on this thing. Like, we're really not working with much. The tortilla chip looks pretty soft. It should be a hard shell. So this won't be too hard to remake, honestly. It's just three ingredients and a tortilla. Doesn't seem that hard. If we look at the infamous cinnamon twists, these, I, I really don't know how we're gonna go about it, but supposedly there is recipes online that say we can make this better than anything at all. And we got, you know, our Baja Blast. But first to start off, what is the backbone of Taco Bell? Me? Well, yes, but I was talking more about the mild sauce. This is a staple of Taco Bell. If you ever have heard of Taco Bell, you've heard of this sauce, so we need to make this first before we go on to making any sort of food. This little sauce packet takes a whole lot of ingredients to make. For example, what we need to make this mild sauce is one cup of cold water, eight ounce canned tomato sauce, four teaspoons of cornstarch, two tablespoons of white vinegar, one tablespoon ground cumin, one tablespoon dried onion flakes, one teaspoon of Lowry seasoned salt, one teaspoon of lime juice, one teaspoon of orange juice, one teaspoon of Worcester sauce, half teaspoon of red pepper, half teaspoon plain New Mexico chili powder. Oh, that's supposed to be a half teaspoon. <laughs> half teaspoon of A1 original sauce, one four teaspoon of white pepper, and one to two drops of liquid smoke. So now that we've added our ingredients, it's time to mix them together. Place your mixture on the stove and let it boil, whisk as needed. I mean, it looks like Taco Bell sauce. But there's only one way to tell for sure, and that's by tasting it. But first, we have to let it cool down. So let's start making this meat so that we can make our crunch wrap supreme. So these are the ingredients you need to make the perfect Taco Bell seasoned meat. But first, we need to actually start cooking this ground beef so that we can use these ingredients. Let's come on over to the pan. So the first thing we need is two tablespoons of vegetable oil. I'm just gonna eye it because I feel like I have a pretty good eye. Oh, fuck. That's about two tablespoons. Next thing you need to do is you need to flop your ground beef into the pan. Just like that. Now squish this bad boy up. So it says, add beef. Cook breaking up meat with spoon until no longer pink, about nine to 12 minutes. Then you add the remaining ingredients. Okay, if that's what they wanna do. All right, so look at the meat. It's basically brown, it looks pretty good and almost edible. Now we need to really season this and make it secure that this is Taco Bell meat. So the first thing we need to add is eight ounces of tomato paste. I don't know what the heck tomato paste is, but it smells like baby food, so let's put that in there. Look at this. Oh, oh my God. That does not look good. It looks like sorbet, like ice cream. Ugh. If you thought that was a lot of tomato, now we need to add 15 ounces of tomato puree. A different form of tomato. I don't even know. Oh my god. Are we making spaghetti sauce? Like, I don't I'm know. So Let me just mix this all together right now so it can all cook. It kind of looks like you're about to make spaghetti and meatballs, to be honest. This looks nothing like Taco Bell, but hey. You never know when things change, you know? Two tablespoons of chili powder. It's starting to kind of look like it, right? Kind like, it's getting the orange. We're getting the orangey color. Do you see that? Now we need two tablespoons of kosher salt. I don't know what difference co- Oh, wow, it's more like a crystallized than idolized salt, table salt. Don't you worry, honey, I am a cumin. Yes, because we need to add one teaspoon of cumin. This measuring cup situation is kind of messed up. So I'm gonna guess. That's about enough. And then we need some flavor enhancer. Weird. That is very weird. I don't know how it wakes up flavor, but that's what it advertises it does. Almost smells like a salty powder. Half teaspoon of garlic powder. And another half teaspoon of onion powder. Technically that's it. I think ours is just a little bit more liquidy. I don't know. The honest real taste test is gonna come when we make our complete taco and see does it taste like Taco Bell's tacos? What do you think so far? Yeah, Just they also this. when they could scoop it to us, they could like drain it. Drain it. But look at there's that there's that orange orange uh 
oil residue that you were talking about. Yeah. You thought that was Taco Bell sauce? Well, it is. It's oil. Okay, so we got our oven on low. We're literally soaking up all the seasonings, and while that's happening, we're gonna start getting our other stuff ready. For example, we need tomatoes. Taco Bell always has tomatoes, so we're gonna cut a little bit of this. Beforehand, I just wanna let you guys know I am not a professional cutter, so I'm gonna do my best, because I know that they do this finger thing. If I lose a finger on here, there goes my demonetization forever. So let's try this, here we go. Slice, 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 ooh. And you want, and they always have like, Diced, so you gotta go. <laughs> oh, close one. I felt it. We're good. We're good on tomatoes, okay? I don't even like tomatoes. I'm like, next thing we need is a head of lettuce. Our head of lettuce doesn't look all that good, but it should fit our Taco Bell taco perfectly. So, first thing we're gonna do is just chop. Make sure your lettuce is clean. It should be clean. Ours is clean. Hopefully. Next thing, you're gonna really show your skills. Do not cut a finger off. It's very possible. But now our lettuce is completely diced just with our tomatoes and honestly, all this chopping is getting me a little thirsty. Imagine a Baja Blast freeze right now. Should I go get one? No wait, let's make one. How? I know how, check this out. So the first thing you're gonna need is a blender or a magic bullet of some sort. I have a magic bullet so this is gonna be perfect. What you're gonna need to do is grab some ice and put a couple cubes inside. Next thing you need to do is add three quarters of a cup of Mountain Dew. Then you want to add one quarter of a cup Powerade, the blue one. So you're telling me that's all that it takes to make a Baja Blast? I'm telling you this chug jug on the table right here is all it takes to make a Baja Blast. Now watch this. We're going to close this off. We're going to put our Baja Blast on the blender. Okay. And here it is. It honestly has the same color. This is a little bit of a melted one, so you can see the color is on. Am yeah. I right? Try it. Let's taste it now. Let's see. We already know a classic one tastes like. Let's see a custom one. Look at the bubbles. That so looks you can tell it's pretty icy. good. Let's taste it. That's all it took. <laughs> no, you're lying. That's literally all it took. This is a Mountain Dew Baja Blast right here if I ever did make one. That's actually a good sign for my Crunchwrap Supreme. If I can make this, hopefully I can make a Crunchwrap Supreme. <laughs> Now is the time that you all have been waiting for. Let's put together this Crunchwrap Supreme. Let's see, can we do it better at home? So what we got here is we got some giant tortillas because we tried to do this with the regular size tortilla and it just didn't work. It'd have to be like this, but nowhere is that gonna look better. Oh, we're gonna have to do this again. So hopefully this will work a little bit better. So we're gonna grab our giant tortilla and we're gonna lay it out. Next thing we need to do is we need to throw some of our Taco Bell meat onto our Crunchwrap Supreme. So we're gonna lay this down. Like, it looks like it, does it not? Yeah, it kind of looks like spaghetti sauce. Yeah, though. it does too. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just used to talk about like not putting very much meat on there. Yeah. It looks like so vibrant. It, it just, it, it looks very liquidy too. Like it looks like there's like sauce. I feel like I talk about it's more just the meat with yeah. a color to it. I it don't could know. also be a couple days old too. Yeah. So. so now that the beef is laid on the tortilla, we need to add some cheese. I'm gonna go with some Mexican style cheese because it just only feels right for our little project here. So we're gonna sprinkle some cheese like that. Next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna grab a tostada and we're gonna lay it right on top. Then we're gonna grab some lettuce, some tomatoes. Lastly, we're gonna throw some cheese on top of that so it can stick. And we're gonna use some cheddar cheese this time. And we're skipping sour cream. Yeah, we're skipping the sour cream step because honestly, who likes sour cream? I have never met someone that loves sour cream. Let me know in the comments. Honestly, before we continue making this, I want to show something. If you're anti-social like me, you need to pick up the new merch. It's long sleeve now. It's so cute. This color, I'm telling you, is the color of spring. So make sure you're up with the trends and pick something up at brennantaylor.com. We also brought Brennan Hub back. All I'm asking for you to do is take five minutes of your time. Just look at the site. I promise you'll fall in love with something. Okay, now we're going to do this. Okay, so to make this things easier for us, we are going to throw down a small flour tortilla on top like this so that when we do our folds and we melt this part down it'll all look like crunch rice supreme hopefully so now is the fold the fold is the most important part so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab it like this and we're gonna grab it like this oh yes it's working then we're gonna grab it like this we're gonna come over to this side we're gonna do like this all right so hold that like that yeah there you go Ooh, not too bad 
Here is our crunch wrap supreme. Honestly, the folding, it's decent, you know, it's pretty good. It this, looks really good. This is your actual crunch wrap supreme that we bought for this video. That's their wrapping. Honestly, not much different in the wrapping. Like, their wrapping is not good either. You can see the size difference though. Do you see how thick ours is? Let's put it down. Yeah, ours definitely definitely has some girth. And yeah. it's, ours is consistent. Theirs is like kind of lopsided. And that's the thing, it's like their tortilla too, like you think it'd be kind of like crusty because it is a little burnt. It's more sticky, if anything. Ours is like a nice crispy hardness. Uh, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. We're gonna cut these both open right now so we can see the difference of a Taco Bell Crunch Wrap Supreme versus ours. What are we thinking? You can clearly tell ours is like the double amount of meat. Yeah. And we could have gone more. We could have. We honestly wanted to go a little bit easy on this just because we wanted to really confirm whether or not it was going to close. This was our first real attempt on closing it with a big tortilla. And honestly, we could go much bigger than this. We waited this long. I feel like we should taste it, okay? So we made a Baja Blast. It was pretty simple. It was pretty easy. Honestly, tasted better at home. It tastes like there's less added sugars. It was good. Let's see. Is the Crunchwrap Supreme better when you make it at home? This is the moment I've been waiting for for a very long time. So, here we go. I'll take a bite of that thing. Mmm. Is it all over my face? Mm-hmm. The thing that was really weird about that bite is that I knew immediately that it was Taco Bell. Like, it just, it, it gave me the flavor combinations of Taco Bell. But for some reason, it tasted like as if Taco Bell revamped and went gourmet. Like it was so good and so juicy. The juices literally came out the sides of the Crunchwrap Supreme. I am telling you as an avid Taco Bell lover, this is better at home. Make Taco Bell at home, oh my God. Cause Did you it. forget something? What? The mild sauce that we made. You're right, we made mild sauce. I gotta see if it, if it adds to the deliciousness of eating it at home. So this is your normal Taco Bell sauce. Let's see, all right? We're gonna see the consistency of it. We're gonna squirt it out right there. Seems uh, medium thickness, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, it looks pretty good. Now we're gonna see the salsa that we made, all right? I mean, it looks basically the same, just a little bit lighter. It's a little bit lighter, but it has the same, like, let me see if I can show that. See the, like speckles, the speckles in the real inside. one? And the speckles in ours. Okay, let's taste this, all right? So let me get a quick finger lick of the regular one so I can re refresh my mind. That's the classic. Yeah. Great, great taste, here we go. Mine. Wait a second. <laughs> that is very interesting, okay? So the sauce that we made tastes almost exactly like the one that's at Taco Bell, except it just tasted a little bit more tomato-y, like it had more tomato sauce in it. I don't know if that's because it's fresher, you, you know what I mean? You also gotta think that on our recipe, it says this sauce can last like seven days. You don't know when these packages exactly. were made. Those so they, packages could've been made in 2017 and they're still out, that's yeah. what I'm saying. So let me taste this, okay? Let's taste it on the Crunch Wrap Supreme. Okay, so I'm gonna pour the sauce. Here we go. Oh wow, that crunch. Mm. The main difference that I can taste in this is the meat. It tastes like real meat for once. I'm not hating on Taco Bell. Taco Bell is delicious, but there's always been a funk to the taste. What is this meat that we're eating? No one ever really knew. There was theories that it was horse meat. What I can tell you about the meat that we eat here is that it's 100% ground beef. It's like 100% fresh real meat it's not like heated up or anything it's literally like fresh meat so you can really taste the difference in that in your crunch wrap supreme and just to be fair i'm gonna give them a solid chance i'm gonna taste this crunch wrap supreme honestly it, look at the meat it just doesn't look fresh it looks like it's weeks old oh wow here we go there was barely a crunch it's dry compared to yours i don't i'm not i'm sorry this is what you love to order when you go though. I just realized how fresh ours is because of all the juices that came out when I took a bite of this. This one was completely dry. This one you need sauce to eat. Ours, you can eat by itself. And that's gonna tell you how much flavor is in it because if you need to add additives to it, so what kind of homemade tutorial would we be making if we weren't making cinnamon twists? And believe it or not, I actually found a TikTok online that shows us how to make it. Should we make it? Yeah. Let's watch the clip. So 
So who would have known that these golden brown cinnamon puffs are actually just rice pasta? I mean, at least according to that TikTok, and that TikTok looked like it was filmed inside of a Taco Bell, and they look like they work there, so I feel like they know what they're doing. All we gotta do, technically, is pour this into this very, very hot oil, and it should make this. Honestly, I'm a little skeptical, but let's do it, right? If this works, it's a game changer. Honestly, look at these. They're, they're literally just pasta shells. We're gonna pour that in there. All right. Our oil is starting to boil right now. The bubbles are coming. We don't need to pour a lot. Let's just, here we go. All right, for demonstration purposes. Oh, it's starting to do something. Wait a second. Yeah. We literally look for the same shell. Hold on, let's just see what happens. This is way down. What could I go wrong? Yeah, those are hard as rocks. You know what? No need to get cocky. The first part of this video worked very well. Our Crunch Wrap Supreme, delicious. Our Baja Blast, out of this world. And not to forget our Mild Sauce, A1. So I'm gonna have to say that you can definitely make Taco Bell at your home, but honestly, it's a lot cheaper just to order Taco Bell. You know what, like a taco costs like $2. We probably spent like 20, 30 bucks. I spent 80. $80 on ingredients? Okay, you are definitely better eating at Taco Bell, but it is definitely better at home, so I guess the choice is yours. Do you want $80 Taco Bell or $2 Taco Bell? Anyways, guys, smash the thumbs up button if you're enjoying this video, and also let me know what you guys would want to see me cook next. What restaurant do you want to see me compete with? You can also text me ideas, 323-405-9940, and honestly, one last look at our Crunchwrap Supremes. Pick up some merch, brennantaylor.com, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Thank you.